हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल सो फ्रॉम टूडे आई एम स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज and i'll put them up over a period of uh, you know few months uh, this is called pattern recognition series and what i find that uh, when we start doing surgeries and we try to learn it our brain slowly starts recognizing certain patterns when we are operating and one of the uh, you know bigger you know uh, sensory input is of course from the visuals that we are getting when we are operating so i'm trying to find out those you know those tiny details or the patterns which uh, me as a surgeon recognizes and then i change my approach in that particular case or i now know what to expect during that particular surgery so this will be like one case at a time and i'll be picking out certain pattern which i have recognized over a period of years when i am operating these cases so as you know uh, even if uh, you know we say the same thing like it's a cataract surgery but every cataract is slightly different and uh, with experience we start recognizing these patterns and that's why uh, we give more reproducible or repeatable results as compared to a novice surgeon so these videos might help these novice surgeons to learn these patterns quickly if you have certain videos of similar kind then you can also submit it to us so in this video i am going to show you a certain pattern when we reach adequate depth uh, while doing trenching so this case once you see it on table it's a white mature cataract but if you start doing capsulorexis or even before that you can recognize that the anterior capsule is flat it's not a intumescent cataract and once we make that first nick and no fluid comes out you know that uh, it's going to be easy to do the capsulorexis because there is no intumescence at all and if you see the color of the epinucleus there the anti epinucleus it looks slightly yellowish so probably this cataract will not be like a very dense brown or black it will be more of a yellowish kind of mature cataract Now here I am going to do a trench, a deep trench, and do a terminal chop. So when I first thing I do is I remove the anti epinucleus so that I can see the nucleus properly. And uh, once I start doing trench with uh, here I am using seventy percent linear torsional power using Centurion and balance tip, which is very powerful. So I can just uh, cut this. Uh, nucleus while doing trenching very easily so here i start the trench and as i proceed with the trenching i need to judge whether i am reaching the adequate depth or not so now you can see it's still grayish yellow here uh, it's uh, showing though of course in three dimension you can see the actual depth but many time for beginners it might be difficult to judge whether it's actually deep enough or not i want you to recognize this particular pattern in the change of the color of this uh, trench so as the feco tip starts going deeper and deeper just watch carefully as the feco tip is now trying to trench the or almost like 4 to 5 mm and now you can see that the color has started changing and it's becoming slightly brighter yellow so in these type of cataracts i think this pattern shows that we have reached adequate depth that means the trench has gone to the hardest part of the nucleus and now i can do the terminal chop where you can see the crack easily continues till the posterior plate of course we can go ahead with the trench divide also where we do lateral separation but that depth of the trench is very important you can see that because of we have reached that particular depth and we saw that color changing to slightly brighter yellow indicating that we have reached the adequate depth then the
the further chopping or division of the nucleus becomes easy otherwise we keep struggling with shallow trench thank you so much Thank you.